What's up guys, how you doing? All right, so a lot of you have been asking about the, the Cutty Mop. And how could I leave the Cutty Mop out of the Mop Mania video? You're right. I'm sorry guys. But you know what? It just deserved its own video. Just look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. So what we're going to do is uh, do a special review of just the Cutty Mop right now. Because y'all want to see it. I want to make a video. So let's combine our wills together and do this. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, sick. So as you can see, the Cutty Mop is quite small. It holds 0.5 ounces. Much smaller than the Drip Mop, as you can see here. But this was what makes it great, because you can fit it in your pocket. You could actually put it in that little pocket within your pocket. You know what I'm talking about. What's it got in its pockets, right? Um, this is a perfect little cutty crusher. It's also a great way for you to test out some new inks without having to devote it to a bigger mop, which also makes it really great. I just love it as a tagging tool myself. I mean, it's just so small, and if you don't squeeze it too much, you can get quite a few tags out of it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take some, I don't know, let's take some pilot ink here. Let's put some pilot ink in this bag, boy. All right, one thing I wanna mention is this is a 10 millimeter nib, not the 11 millimeter nib that's found on the drip mop. See, this is the, this is the nib for the uh, cutty mop, and this is the nib for the drip mop. Look at them on the side. See the profile? See how the drip mop has this little etch thing right here? And this one doesn't, it's just smooth on this side. That little divot doesn't have a divot. So don't make that mistake. They are different nibs, guys. Not the same nib at all. So let's go ahead and get this filled up. Oh, I prepped it and I can't get it off. <laughs> all right, sick. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy filled up. We got a little pipette here with the pilot ink. And the reason why I'm using pilot ink is some customers have said that the new, the new boxed pilot inks are different. And uh, I beg to defer. I think it's the same ink. Sure smells the same. And you know what? Pilot ink makes a great mop ink too. So let's go ahead and pipette this thing. This takes a bit of a while as you can see. There we go. Boy, this is a... So anyways, what I was going to get going on is uh, upcoming soon we're going to do a play in the black book video. I got a... Um, Got this little guy here. This is that easy marble stuff. I'm gonna paint a little piece on there. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. So hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have that up. And then hopefully we'll have the uh, Amuse video up. If, that, if not, we'll have that up next week. So keep your peepers peep for that. All right, I think that's enough in there. That's enough. Let's go play with this. All right, go ahead and get your cap, your nib on there. I'm sorry, get your nib mounted. There we go. Get your screw top on. There you go. Oh, another thing I want to mention too is this is the same nib as the Toxic Shocker. So it does share a nib with another mop. The Toxic Shocker mop, you can get a replacement for that. So, there you go. All right, dope. Let's go outside and play with these, huh? Isn't that what you guys are waiting for? That's what you guys are waiting for. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see how many tags we get out of this. Alright, let's hit up my homie Warhol in DC. Woo. Looking good. All right, let's do this. Let's, oh, my buddy Ace. Ace wanted to hit off. Big Ace in the house. All right, my dude Sosa. Ooh, looking good in the hood. Looking good in the hood. Let's move this down a bit. Let's move this down. Let's do another Sosa. I like that name. Like Sammy Sosa. Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. That's dirty. Oh, my dude Desire. Alright, I think I burned it out. <laughs> I was squeezing too much. Alright, some kid wanted me to hit up Dead or Alive. I don't know if that's a crew. Or if it's his name, 
Or he just wanted me to ride it. Either way, I like it. Hell yeah. Oh, my dude ASAP. Nice. And then uh, Nico, Nico. Nice. But I almost forgot, I gotta hit up my really important homie. That's my boy, Sukma Dik. When you ever got a problem, Sukma Dik. Whenever haters coming after you, Sukma Dik. Sukma Dik. For all your local haters, there's always Sukma Dik. Sukma Dik, Sukma Dik. Suk Medik. That's my boy. Call him if you ever need him. And my homie Guac. I guess he really likes the Guac. Here we go. Forget my homie Sopas. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Six bucks, baby, making it rain. <laughs> That's about what two of these will cost you, I believe. Um, or one of these and a refill. A little bit of pilot refill in there, baby. That'll get you going. But I gotta say, I love these little mops. They're very cutty, as the name implies. They fit in the pocket easily. I like it as a riding tool. I love using it to hit off the homies. And um, I highly recommend it. Yes, of course I recommend it. We made it. Duh. Whoa, did that just land on my hat? Landed in my taco holder, baby. Um, anyways, <laughs> I just want to say thank you for watching our video. This is a quick little mini review of the Art Primo Cutty Mop. Also want to give a thank you, shout out to my homie at Snakey Jake on Instagram. My dude at Snakey Jake on Instagram. He sent me this lovely t-shirt and yes, Yes, you can send me a shirt, and I will wear it in video. Uh, just be sure to send it to our P.O. Box. I'll put it in the description. And be sure to address it to Green Ranger, or I will not get it. If you don't address it to Green Ranger, I probably won't get it, so make sure you do that. Um, but yo, remember, whenever you need anything graffiti-related, art-related, or you just want to call and shoot the shit, call at your boy, 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083, that's GR from artprimo.com, I got what you need, baby, I got what you need, love you, booze, black book video, well, a twist on the black book video coming up next, in a couple days, I'll be painting on a train again, and you guys love those train painting videos, so I'll see you then, alright, peace.